and welcome back my fellow sea captains my fellow gamers is yours truly Adam from the gamers edge hope you guys are having a awesome fall so far nice cool and crisp weather and hope you guys again had a great Halloween you know we're all looking forward to Thanksgiving coming up next couple weeks or so more more or less we're also looking forward to play a little more uh, Fallout 4 come out in the next couple days uh, November 10th which is about six days and I don't know how many hours we're counting down to so yeehaw anyway let's get the Essex all decked out and take her out oh wrong area next year just gonna use a little bit of this type 3 camo so get some more bonuses before it runs out Toss on the all the usual items. There we go. And uh, let's rock and roll. Also, one well, of my subscribers got his name. I do apologize, but uh, he suggested I try or at least get unlocked or unlock the. 2-2-1, two, two, and one, or the 1-2-2, one, two, and two. the one group of fighters, two torpedo bombers, and two dive bombers, uh, flight mod 2. We still have the flight mod 1, and eventually I might be interested in opening up the flight mod 3, maybe. But right now we're going to focus on opening up the Douglas and the Curtis uh, planes, and maybe start grinding our way toward the tier 10 midway, which is 254,000 credits. So we got a way to go. And also, I think I purchase a few more modules, maybe uh, anti aircraft gun. Well, let's see. Uh, I might have a little more money to purchase on that. Could use some um, helpful anti aircraft, or actually, we could do the air group provocation 3 plus 15% to attack aircraft survivability. So, that's two really good things. Now, let's go flight control module 2. And a few of the other ones again, we do have a damage control system modification 1, which we will put that on there since we already have like two in our. The depot. Yeah, let's see here. Propulsion. Minus twenty percent to reaching full power. That might be useful. Uh, this also might be useful, especially trying to avoid torpedoes. Damage control. Minus fifteen percent to flooding and fire extinguishing. And can steal the system. Also target acquisition system modification as well. So some stuff to think about. At least three things. Again, they're all very expensive. I grant some more of the the balloons or like, you know credits, credits. But I do my add, I might add another module. Anyway, let's let's rock and roll and uh, try out this flight mod. Again, I do have the upgraded B hall on here, so I can at least max out my aircraft hangers and such. Hopefully, it won't take too long to get us into a battle with a uh, good old RNG, but you never know. And, yep, this is a new mod, uh, probably at least part of a new, new mod pack they recently added to Aslan's. So, I'm trying that out. Don't know how I like it so far. It's, 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 it's uh, interesting. That, or I need more coffee this morning. I gotta check out my fallout shelter while we're waiting for RNG to make up its mind or hopefully find us a battle which I don't know certain mornings or certain I don't know parts of the day sometimes you get lucky and find a either a tier 8 battle or 61 tier 9 or a tier 10 that seems a lot of players are doing like the 4s, the 5s, the 6s, the 7s and a small handful of 8s and a smaller handful of 9s and 10s. Seems to be the case. The coming months, that should change. As more players play the game and advance upward in the uh, tiers. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll give uh, RNG a good, uh, not the whole five minutes, but at least uh, three or four minutes to decide. Gives them a little good old time to think. There we go. That would take like two, three minutes, but this time it took uh, a little under two minutes. Two ish, I would say. All right. And we also have a pink player, too. Looks like he uh, had some uh, team damage he's been doing. I don't know. Looks like we're up against a tier 9 Teho. We got tier 8 Trippets versus North Carolina. Nagato Nagato. Rune versus a Baltimore. Ibuki versus a Buki. Pensacola, Pensacola. And, and a Fletcher versus a Fabuki. Should be interesting. Yeah, I wonder what type of flight mod the Teho is uh, loaded up with. Are they mostly anti-ship roll, or does he have like, more of the fighters? We will see. But first of all, let's get my guys up and running. Ready, ready for takeoff. Ready. Ready. Group six, ready for takeoff. how the German line is. I just started grinding a little bit of the tier two or three, so I'm not fully up there on the Germans yet. Okay, guys, get off the flat top. Get up on those blue skies for me. Let's get lined up. Let's get going. Send my fighter over here. Two. Maintaining present course. Tokyo bomber. Bomber. Over here. Actually. Uh three. We'll target up here. Actually, hold on. Reportize. Bombers. And drop my torpedo bombers. Three and four. The enemy team Part is taking the lead. North Carolina. In this area. Fighter, not fighter. Go here as well. There we go. So three and four and five and six. Five, six, and three, four, okay. Two, Actually, there's a tail. The Baltimore's right there, so I'm gonna get some heavy flak. Alright, let's have my fighters go in. Oh, stay away from my fighter. Bombers in there. I think my bombers. My other bombers got uh, targets in there, and I don't think they're gonna make it. No matter how much I pray to this, the uh, Zeus relay. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, that was a good try, though. But still. But at least we know he's right there. At least we struck the Nagato. Oh, 
with those. We lost a tier 9 Ibuki. We had the Fubuki took him down, but at least we uh, got the destroyer. We still have our tier 9 destroyer. <coughs> Excuse me. Our team has taken the lead. Autopilot mode enabled. Uh, no one might try to hide. A little bit right here. Alright. Uh, we'll try to finish off this Nig Nagato. Why why you flip like that? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever why he has to flip like that. Alright, I'm going to Actually, change course, change course. Let's kind of change course here. We need Teho has one kill. We do not want to be the next one. Except the duo bombers. Let's see if we can target him. We can also try to get the Pensacola. Got that ring coming up. Group five, ready. Okay. I uh, protect the trippets as best as possible. No, no, no. It is gonna hurt. Yeah. This can be a short game. Very short game indeed. Group six, maintaining present course. Group three, we are under attack. Group four, taking fire. Try to manually drop them. He's gonna be coming on an angle. Uh, we might get him or might not. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we got him. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Group four, awaiting instructions. All right, let's get him like that. No, is he gonna come in? Will he be coming in? Yes. Group three, standing come by on, for instructions. Over. Group three, returning. One hit, really? Yeah, he slowed down his engines. Smart. But I'm gonna bomb him. We'll bomb him. And waypoint reached. Group two, returning to ship. Autopilot mode enabled. See my bombers over there, set him on fire, finish off of that Nagato as quickly as possible. Diana coming up. Yeah, he sees me. He sees me. Uh, my bombers, my torps come out. A good warp run. On him. Maybe. Group four, we are under attack. Group three, ready. Trying to get a good spread on him. 
no bombers. The enemy team has taken the lead. Taking the lead. Yeah, I don't think the others are gonna make it. to kill someone, at least in North Carolina or somebody, to get us back up. Yeah, that Tejo is good. Waypoint reached. find that North Carolina and get him and uh, bring down this counter. Fire. 
Problem solved, sir. It was a good game we tried. High caliber, wow, nice. Torpedo hit. Hopefully, we'll take a few more planes now. And there we go. All right, defeat, but a profitable defeat. Uh, Three hundred thirty-five thousand six hundred fifty-six, four thousand nine hundred fifty XP, two hundred forty-eight free XP, high caliber damage release for enemy ships. Damage with cause must exceed thirty percent of total HP. Uh, ball shit in the ship. That five torpedo hits, eleven bomb hits, twenty-seven plane kills, one crit, one warship sunk, nine fires, two floodings, and two base defenses. Hmm. Again, my salute to the Tejo tier nine, Mr. DVI Stern. To compliment him, he played very well. Not too bad. 30k, almost 31k in fires. 13, almost 14k in flooding. Let me shoot down. We shot down 10 torpedo dive bombers, 12 dive bombers, 5 hiders. And pretty good in bomb hits and torpedoes. Probably gonna try to stick with uh, mostly a fighter role. Okay, let's see here. What we do, actually, hold on. What we do, okay, we did 1100 in base XP, so that's pretty nice. And got a little more on top. I like a little icing on the cake. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned as we continue to journey through the modules and on to the tier 10 midway. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And thanks for watching.